guys, let's you back again and today in this video I'm going to be telling you a little story. So I'm going to start off with I will start off by telling you what actually what the story is about. So yeah the story is about when I broke my arm. Like this is the arm I actually used but I broke it. So that was my about three month, four month wound. I don't know, just in school. I was in primary at the time, but it was back in 2007. So let's get right into the story. Because these guys are going, oh, hurry up, Lewis, hurry up. So, anyway, let's get into the story. I've got a shed up my back garden and I was climbing up at. Because uh, me, my sister, and my brother used to always climb up at. I don't know, just. We used to always sit up there, it was a cool bit, cool bit to sit in the summer. Just, yeah, it was just to chill and that. So, I was seven years old at the time and I was. Oh, I was so stupid, I didn't know what I was doing. So, this one day I was climbing the shed. The shed's about. Where am I? About 15 foot. Uh, about, about 15 to 20 foot, I'd say about that. Uh, then, obviously, my little fragile body just would not handle that height. So, I decided, oh, stuff this, I'm just going to jump. And at the side of the wall, we've got a big, like, a spiky fence. It's not actual spikes on it, it's like wood. But the fence goes up like that, the wee spikes. So, when I, I got over the wee ledge bit, it was a big brick ledge. And I, I sat in that and I, I looked down and I was like, petrified. I did not want to jump. So I was like, oh, no, stuff. I'll just jump, I'll just jump. So, I, I was getting ready. I was like, right, here we go, here we go. I just jumped. And I was falling, like my body was like going like that in the air, twisting. And I landed like that with my arm behind me. Oh, thank no, it was my right arm. So I landed like that. And like I hit my, that bit off the wooden fence because my body twisted like that. And my arm went far back and And like that, like the pain. Oh my god. It, how can I describe it? So bad. So after that. Inside, my mum was on the phone to somebody, I don't know who, I, I didn't like, even care. I ran upstairs. This is the, oh, this is so funny, this part. What, what would you think i done? Ran into the bathroom, turned on the cold water, and ran my arm under it. Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Why did I do that? I did not have a clue that I broke my arm. Arms like that, uh, oh, hanging there. I didn't know, so I was like, oh, I don't know, I'll just run under the water. Uh, after that, I, I ran under the water for like 15 minutes straight. Like, <laughs> so I, I uh, walked around in my uh, room like that, <laughs> pure walking. It was so, it was so funny like, looking back on it now. And but I lay in my bed, and my mum says we are going away to our, like her friend's house, and I, I walked down the stairs. Sobbing like <laughs> so, I went to put my jacket on. My mum went, My mum said, Right, Lewis, get your jacket on, get your jacket on, go put your shoes on. So, I tried to put my jacket on. My mum went, Lewis, let's see your armor now. And I, oh, I showed up in that. It was like that <laughs> hanging. And then she went, Let's see. I went, I was like, No, I'm going to go. Oh my god, so embarrassing. And looking back on it now, like, Oh, I was a stupid kid. Really stupid, and and she went right. We're not going to we're not going uh, to my friend's house. We're just driving you straight to the hospital. You broke your arm, and it all my, my face went chopped away. I was like, no, oh, I need to get my arm chopped off. I was like, and my mum was like, no, you will be alright. So, oh, oh, raging. I was raging at the fact that I never knew that. So my mum drove me down to the hospital. Try to go as fast as she can. But as like, careful as she can, so she didn't hurt my arm. So what did she do? Go for a big bump in my arm and I put the off the roof and everything. Oh, so painful. So we went to the hospital. The hospital staff asked if I was a Rangers fan. That was so random, but actually, at the time, I was a Hearts fan. But now, I'm a Rangers fan. I turned to the good side. These Celtic fans out there, you don't even comment on this because you all know that we're the most successful club. So let's get back in there. So the, the nurses asked me if I was a Rangers fan. Uh, 
I just said yeah because obviously I was in so much pain I was like yeah so I got a blue stucky that I don't know like oh well I got the white stucky at first so you be casting that then after a couple of months I'll have to change to a blue one so that's that's been nasty so the <laughs> I had a sling around my neck uh, and every time like I went like that to push my head down somehow it always snapped like my, my sling just snapped like there it was like wrapped around my neck it was a wee foam bit and it sat your arm like that so it was supportive so I was always like walking with that <laughs> it was so, so bad you know, all the kids in like primary school like oh can I sign your cast first I was like okay can I touch your arm no <laughs> I only let them sign it not touch because oh but I hated it so the day I actually came I got my cast removed yeah, what lay under, like, what, what lay under that cast frightened me. So much dead skin. Oh, it was mine. I looked and I went like that. And I was dead fascinated that it was mine. I was like, all the time just scraping and laughing. I was so cool. But, like, all St. Mary's went and I didn't care. But yeah, that was just, that is just what happened. So, guys, that, I'm just going to basically wrap up the video here. That will do it for this story. That's all what happened. So guys, if you'd like to see more of these uh, story times, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and of course, don't stop watching.